Today, we are going to start something I have never done before, which is a series of explanations on the use of 12 different appliances. So each day of the series, I will show how the appliance works, where its use is, the application, we will handle the appliance, we will activate the appliance. So get ready as it's a sequence of 12 appliances in a row. Today we are going to start with a very interesting appliance that is used to uncross incisors, both central and lateral. Let's go to our number one device, the S-Spling. Let's go. How would you uncross an incisor very easily and quickly? Well, it would be with the appliance with S-Spring. The appliance, as you can see, is composed of an expansion plate that I always like to associate with an expansion screw, but with a spring made with a 0.6 arch. There are different ways to make this spring this. One would be the S shape. The appliance comes passive, as you can notice, so we need to activate it. Begin the activation using bird beak pliers or a 139 plier. With the rounded part of the bird beak pliers, start the activation at the beginning of the spring extension, applying gentle pressure toward the vestibular arch. Next, twist the rounded tip of the plier on the second extension. Now let's check if the activation was sufficient or if it was too much. How can we know about the amount of activation? We will always observe the previous extension of this S spring, knowing that it should gently surpass the most anterior portion of the central incisor. This way, the child comes, places the spring back, and during the month begins to make the activations. If you have more than two millimeters of overbite, it's very interesting to place acrylic bite plate in the posterior area. This way, you will manage to uncross this central incisor much more easily. Eject this appliance, then follow the series as there are still 11 appliances to come. They'll be waiting for you.